Hello to everyone. Welcome to a new session of the Spirit-Filled Life. This is your pastor, Yadi. I hope all is well with you and that you take time not only to listen, but also to practice in what is given to you at the time that you became a Christian. Remember, you are chosen. You are blessed. And you are loved with an everlasting love. Today I'm going to talk about the Holy Spirit, our guide. One of the primary roles of the Holy Spirit is that of a guide, yet it is not always easy to discern His voice. People often ask me, how do I know who is talking to me? How can I tell the difference between my thoughts and God's? In the following sessions, we're going to go, we're going to look at some spiritual markers that will always line up when the Holy Spirit is guiding us. Since God is not the author of confusion, he does not want us to be confused about an area as vital as this one. So he has given us some clear channel markers to ensure that we stay right on course with his will for our lives. Before we jump into an in-depth look at each marker, I want to pause and focus your attention on something Jesus said concerning the Holy Spirit as a guide. In talking to the disciples about this issue, Jesus said, when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will disclose to you what is to come. John 16, 13. This verse speaks volumes but we need to consider four key truths before we go any further in our discussion. First, the Holy Spirit will guide us. The emphasis is on the word guide. Jesus doesn't promise that the Holy Spirit will control us. He doesn't promise that he will drive us. He doesn't say, that the Holy Spirit will force us to do anything. He says he will guide us. Granted, there are times when I wish the Holy Spirit would control me. For instance, when I tempted, or when I become so task oriented that I become insensitive or when it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon and I need to study, but everything in me wants to grab something else to do, which is, yeah, and going for a walk or a bike. So life would be much easier, and I would be a much more enjoyable person if the Holy Spirit would teach, would reach out and take control of me. Anyway, that has been said, I think, a lot of people thinking, what I just mentioned. But that is not the case. He is our guide, not our controller. At no point do we lose our ability to choose to follow his leading. Consequently, we are always responsible for our words and actions. Second, the Holy Spirit is a trustworthy guide. The Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of Truth. He guides believers into truth and according to what is true. That makes him a trustworthy guide. 
The Holy Spirit helps believers discern between what is true and what is not, what is wise and what is foolish, what is best and what is simply okay. Each day is full of decisions. Most of our decisions concern issues not clearly spelled out in scripture. For example, where to attend school, whether to hire a particular applicant, how much to budget for vacation, and on and on it goes. As you are marriaged with details of everyday living, the Holy Spirit will guide you. He will give you that extra on the spot sense of discernment you need to make both big and small decisions. And the wonderful effect is that as you develop a greater sensitivity to his guidance, you will worry much less about the decisions you make. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is a trustworthy guide. Three, the Holy Spirit is God's mouthpiece to believers. The Holy Spirit does not speak on his own. Like Christ, this member of the Trinity has willingly submitted to the authority of the Father. Everything he communicates to us is directly from the Father. He will not speak on his own initiative. John 16, 13. God has chosen to communicate to his children through the Holy Spirit. Acts eleven twelve. He is God's mouthpiece to believers. When God chooses to speak directly to you, it will be through the Holy Spirit. When you think about it, this makes perfect sense. After all, where does the Holy Spirit reside? In you and me. And therefore, he is the perfect candidate for communicating God's will to Christians living inside us. He has direct access to our minds, emotions, and consciousness. Four, the Holy Spirit speaks. The question of whether God still speaks today is one that has spawned numerous books, articles, and lectures. It is not my purpose to present a tightly woven argument about why I believe God still speaks today. I do believe God, through the Holy Spirit, communicates directly with believers. My experience as well as the experiences of many godly men and women is that the Holy Spirit at the prompting of the Heavenly Father still communicates with believers today. In the following session, I will describe several occasions when I feel the Holy Spirit spoke to me. None of them were audible but that shouldn't come as much of a surprise. The Holy Spirit indwells me. He doesn't need my ears. What he needs is my listening heart and my renewed mind. The book of Acts rec records several occasions when the Holy Spirit spoke to Paul and Peter. And write these verses down. Acts eleven twelve, chapter 13, 2. Chapter 16, 6, chapter 20, 23. It can't be denied that those men had a special gift and call upon their lives. They were apostles, men handpicked by Christ to take the gospel to the world. But the same Holy Spirit that indwells those men indwells every believer, just as they needed divine direction 
at critical times in their lives. We need it today. In his letters to the Christians in Rome and Galatia, the Apostle Paul refers to believers as a led by the Spirit. Roman 8, I mean Roman 8 verse 14, Galatians 5, 18. It would be difficult to lead someone you were not communicating with. The same is true for the Holy Spirit. If we are going to be led by the Holy Spirit, we can only assume he is more than willing and able to communicate with us. When you are concerned, God is concerned. Jesus echoed this idea in the Sermon on the Mount when he said, Do not worry, then saying, What will we eat? Or, What will we drink? Or, What will we wear for clothing? For your Heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Matthew 6, 31-32 how comforting he knows what we need. He noticed even the smallest details. The disciples, we will, I mean the principles, we will be discussing apply to every facet of your life. God is concerned about your job, your house, your kids, your vacation, your choice of church your finances, and even your hobbies. If it matters to you, it matters to God. Why? Because you matter to God. Now think about it. Describe an experience you've had when you were certain that the Holy Spirit was speaking to you. Can you recall a time when you ignored the Holy Spirit's guidance? Do you believe that everything that matters to you matters to God? Do you live as though you believe it? Review for a moment the four truths presented in John 16, 13. First, the Holy Spirit will guide us. Second, the Holy Spirit is trustworthy guide. Three, the Holy Spirit is God's mouthpiece to believers. 4. The Holy Spirit speaks. Are you willing to try casting all your anxiety up on God during the coming week? May the peace of God be with you and stays with you. And may his light shine upon you and keep you safe. I wish you a positive search as you pray and read the scriptures I just mentioned and work with it. Listen to what the Holy Spirit has to say to you and how you will be guided.
God's blessings. Bye-bye. This is your Pastor Yeti.